hello so um me and my boyfriend was talking about the public education system and he refused to hear about the diversity issues um that are related to people of all cultures um ability to receive the information that they do when they're in school because not all people have the same religious background cultural um, influences from family those are barriers to any type of learning in any situation whether even if you graduated um, top of your class there's still terminology terminology that you have to learn once you actually get in the industry so to put our children at the age of five in school um, without reshaping their minds, which is totally impossible to unlearn what they already learned from five and re kind of relearn, you know, in another environment, no matter what culture you're in. And this is just a proposal and this is only something um, from my this idea is from my perspective. You have your own perspective. You're entitled to your own perspective. And I respect your per perspective. Sorry. Perception. Your perception is important as well as mine. So if you don't agree, just take it as some an idea, a thought that somebody had. Whether if you want to judge it positively or judge it negative, it won't hurt me because it's only based on my perspective. It's just my reality. It's no one else's reality. And I get that. So anyway, my thoughts are an education system should rely on productivity. Because we need productivity in our economy so that we're thriving not only thriving financially but thriving as individuals so the barriers whether it's one two three whatever it is which is cultural influences uh, religious influences family influences to where whenever they go outside of their culture it's hard to, it's hard for them to kind of um, apply what they've learned because they don't use that at home. And this is all cultures, all cultures, not just black people, not just Asians or whatever. It's anybody who come from the outside of America and in or those who are in the American system, but speak different languages within America people from the south don't speak the same way as people in the north you know they have different terminology different phrases that they use um me and my boyfriend we have communication issues because of our separate cultures and I'm like what 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 you say what does that mean oh well we didn't do that at my house <laughs> you know and he'll be confused about some of the terms and Things that I talk about, you know, in, in my culture or religion or whatever, you know, it's communication barriers that allow little kids to learn. So, because America is so diverse, is, we're so diverse, but we only have one prominent education cultural system. And it's not what you think. Our prominent cultural education system stems from a system from our forefathers. And it represents Southern living. Southern living. It's not neither negative nor positive, but we are still relying on that same system 
to teach our children in today's very, very diverse economy. <sighs> Chesapeake Bay, Virginia. Virginia, Virginia. Southern living. And it makes sense. It makes perfect sense that America would be, you know, based off of Southern living because, you know, that's where the first settlers came in. And but times have changed and our education system stays the same. And if you don't believe me, write down all your Amer American traditions, all your American values, and you'll find out that you are a ginger if you at least, you know. Think the same thing I think. Hamburgers, barbecue, watermelon, you know, all these different southern traditions. And I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with southern traditions, but that's not the only culture that it is that's in the very, very diverse America where those type of things shouldn't have nothing to do in American in the American education system. That's just my opinion. Okay, so my solution to this problem, my solution, because that system don't work. It don't work, it just fails every every time. But, so my system would be called the American education system. It would be, the purpose of it would be inclusion of all, and productivity. Yeah, I said it. Productivity. Economics. Yes, productivity. That means that we get stuff done. And we are we foster our children. We foster them. They can they can create so much if they can learn. Only focus on the fundamental fundamental learning subjects, reading, writing, math, science, and the arts. That is it. Everything else is a distraction. That's it. Let me say that again. Reading, writing, math, science, and the arts. Okay, that's it. Focus on the productivity. Focus on the productivity of that child who is going to be running our future later on. The productivity of the child. Meaning, taking away, I mean, because it takes away from their abilities to perform what they need to in order to learn the information needed to be productive. If they're not catching what they're reading, if they're not passionate about it and they're not learning it, they're not going to be productive. They're not going to get it. They'll be bored. They. <sighs> Anyways, I'm not here for negativity. Math would include budgeting. It would include it because all these topics will be fully covered. They will have a holistic view of math and all the beautiful things that are involved in it. Budgeting. Planning trips. I mean, there wouldn't be any debt because we know how to manage money. And we could be a thriving community of Americans. Not Americans. Not America. America. No. Americans. Okay? Everybody. The other topic top the other topics should not be allowed in school. Okay? This is not to eliminate anything or suppress anything because our knowledge of it suppresses America because we're living in Virginia. We need to go past Virginia. We need to get to America. Okay? Nothing wrong with Virginia. 
Nothing wrong with it. But the whole world don't have to live in Virginia. Okay? <sighs> Let history be history. We learn from history. We learn from our individual selves. I've been through trauma. I've been through a lot of things. But oh my God, have I survived. And I've done so much. And learned so much. And been through everything. And none of that had to do <laughs> with education or my productivity in life or my barriers to do anything uh, of course barriers emotional but I wasn't taught how to deal with trauma and neither was anyone else but if our kids don't have to get to that point where they can be confident in who they are they can be positive members of the American society they can be strong they they're confident because they're learning how they need to learn. They're only concentrating on the fundamental aspects of learning. And everything else should be learned in the home. Bring communication back to the home. You talk about history in your family. Your individual family. Because your individual family has nothing to do with your neighbors individual family that's their family stuff that they talk about and communicate together but it doesn't reflect what's going on in my house at all because our goal is productivity it's productivity if it goes outside the home it's a distraction and I'm not talking about abuse or anything like that I'm talking about any abuse or any of that stuff will not be allowed in the American education system because parents I'm sorry to say but parents are too much on these kids they push them to do things that they don't want to do they use their kids for gain it's not happening each child in the American learning system will have their own accounts that the parents cannot touch. They cannot touch. They will be their school will be paid for. They'll have an allowance for themselves. They will have to turn in a budget to the school to show what they've been spending. And up until the age of 16 will they have access to their funds. And the parents can have anything to do with it. If a if a if a call, Ivy League ends up calling your ten year old to go to school, give him a scholarship so that genius can go to college and study geometry and all the everything that he can learn and be productive and invent things and be creative and our world would be so much better. And he only sixteen and he can get a job at sixteen. And he has to stay living with the parents at least until 18. Okay? And the parents must raise their child. Because they're going to be working too. Because that child will start school at one and a half years old. And I said one and a half years old. Because the minute you get to one and a half years old. You're ready to learn. You're ready to learn before that. But if the parent want to bond with their child and things like that for a year and a half, you know, that they need that. They need that. And school will not be long. School will only be about four hours a day. Four hours. Because too much learning in a short amount of time that's not natural it's not natural okay kids kids don't have to learn like that kids can learn at the age of one I've seen one and a half two-year-old children who speak better than I do and they go on and on and on I'm like wow this little kid can talk I didn't even know one and a half year old can talk that much 
I've heard one and two year olds cursing like they were sailors. It's sad. That child can learn geometry. One and a half years old, they can start learning everything they need and it'll be a natural progression of education. And it would be based on their own individual skills and knowledge because we want them to be what? Active, productive members of society. And if they do what they want and they progress in the field that they want, they'll be great because they'll love it and they'll be proud of themselves. And it won't be about what he has or what I have or, or anything like that because they own, they have their own. They're going to school. They're learning. They're doing what they want to do. It's like college years for people who graduate high school. Now they decide what they want to do in life. What happened to the 12 years they wasted? Learning a system from Virginia. And then they got to go to college to learn the real world. Does that make sense to you? The only people that don't want you to hear about this are those that are those people that have so much to lose by this type of program because there's so much money being wasted in our education systems that it, that all that extra money could be applied to other services. And I'm not talking about taking jobs away from teachers. No, you give them a they get a salary, a a big salary with benefits because they are nurturing our children, our future. They should be paid just as much as doctors because doctors just rip us off. Hippocratic Oath says, you know what? You don't take advantage of people. You heal them. You don't do all this extra stuff just for money. Money, anybody can have money. But you can't have pride. You can, You got to earn pride. You got to earn confidence and self-respect. You got to earn that for yourself. And the only way that you're going to do that is if you are productive. A productive member. One member of a whole society of indi people, individual people that are contributing to our economy. Okay? You graduate. When you become a productive member of society, that's when you graduate. And even though a five or six year old or a 10 year old would graduate like he was in college, it happens. Those kids start learning when they was babies. Five year old can tell you everything about every president, you know, and all this stuff. That that mind is not it can be done. It could be achieved. <laughs> it could be achieved. If kids start school at one and a half because their 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 cultures, their religion and all these outside sources brand them to where they go to school. It's hard to take all those things out because they're comfortable in their own home and in their own culture and their own things that they learn. But if they learn both at the same time, they go to school. They learn just the basic fundamental education. Not about no culture and all this other stupid sh stuff like that. Basic fundamental education that will lead to productivity. They have their home life. They have their, their school life. Those should never cross. Because it's in the American learning system. So you live, you live with your parents, and if you're 16 and you're productive, you're you're um, mature enough. Of course, you can go live on your own because nobody's gonna be thinking about ruining life by doing silly stuff. Of course, all kids will do some, but you know what? That's up to them to experiment and move on in life and do what they have to do because it will be emphasized. I mean. And what we won't have to emphasize anything because if you're teaching a child at one and a half years old, they're going to love learning. They'll love learning because kids are so curious. If you don't believe me, ask the five-year-old. 
they will have you asking, but why is that work? But how does that work? But how? 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 What? What? Don't shut them up. Answer them questions. <laughs> they curious. They want to learn. They don't know anything. And there's so many parents talk to their kids like they're grown people cursing them out and everything. Oh, he know. He know. You know, he don't. <laughs> he don't. Sometimes I don't even know. So how's a kid going to know? A lot of people don't know how to talk to kids. They don't know. That curiosity expands the mind and allows information in. And they're excited about it. Just like they're excited about video games. And they master them. They can be a master of the arts or a master of um, math. You know, be a great engineer or a scientist that actually produces needed information needed uh not information needed uh products somebody can cure cancer instead of wasting wasting so much money on research for things that do not add into the productivity of the american society if it does not further american society it is a distraction and a waste of economic money because everybody should be a member, a productive member of society. Children are productive members of society because they're doing what they have, what they do, which is learn to be productive members of society. So when they're adults, they will continue to be productive members of society. Because once you have knowledge, you can't go back to being stupid. You can't be ignorant. You can be ignorant at different things that you don't care to know. But you ain't ignorant because you ignorant. You ig To other people, you ignorant because you don't know what they know. But who cares if you don't know what they know because you don't need to know what they know. All you need is your information and your skills so that you can be a productive member of society taking care of yourself and taking accountability for everything you do in life whether it's good or bad and you learn from it the bad mistakes that you make you just learn from them you grow from them and, you, and you'll you'll be amazed how the strength that you have after you go through something and I'm not and I don't condone abuse or anything like that. That's why I believe in a guardian at lamb or someone or the schools can manage student money. And those people who do that will have high clearances. That's our future economy. It's not to be blown away with material stuff. Name brand stuff. No. Mm -mm. We should be going back into our nurturing our world and creating happy people that don't need anything anybody else has because they can get it themselves. They can get it themselves. That's what it's about. If you're happy, why would you want to make somebody else miserable? Unless you just have that type of spirit, like I, we can't stop those people. But majority of the people, you know, that have that knowledge and and, and they grow into being who they want to be, they're happy. They don't have to be miserable. Oh, I have to do this because I'm expected to do this. And I'm, I'm miserable. I wish I can do that. Uh, you don't have to wish. You can just do it. And that's the key opportunity I want to give the kids starting at one and a half years old learning. And I said that the child, yeah, the child gets to choose what and who they want to be. And it's not who they're, who they want to be. It's who they are. It's not about, oh, I want you to be this, sir. I want you to go for, no, parents do not push the kids in this scenario because the kids can manifest so much more naturally and you are limiting your child's natural abilities by pushing them in directions that that 
it's not natural for them. They're miserable. They're miserable. And again, miserable, resentment, anger, negative feelings. They latch on like magnets. And you don't want to put that into your child. You do not. Because they won't be happy. So they get to choose the subject they they want to learn. If they're good at math and they're like, oh, I want to be an engineer. Be an engineer by the age of 10, 12. Even sooner than that. I mean, at, at geometry, you can be a freaking engineer. I mean, just by, I don't, I don't know how, adding numbers or whatever. I don't know what they do. Because I'm not an engineer. And I don't feel bad I'm not an engineer. <laughs> okay. So, like I said, the happy the kids are, the more productive they will be in society, the more happy. We don't have all kind of Mozarts and all them, you know, running around. We don't have mathematicians everywhere. I mean, can you imagine that in America? America. The new America. <laughs> in, yeah, in, in the, in this education would be free. It would be free. Yeah, the community will pay for it because, yes, a lot of schools would lose a lot of business, but hey, it's not about, it's not about <sighs> profit. Education is not about profit. It's an investment. Okay, an investment. All these other schools that are catching all these adults. And yeah, we can have programs for adults too that are, that want to go through the same thing. Because you know what? They can start off from the bottom and go all the way up to the top. It is not, it is not that hard. You just start from the very bottom. And in four to five years, you can be something. You can be whatever you want. As long as you start at the bottom. And everybody has to start at the bottom. In order to grow and be something. And, and be productive and be happy. If you're productive, you're happy. You're not a loser. You're not dumb. <laughs> you're productive. You're happy. You can do whatever you want to do. Nobody holding you down. So, yeah, it would be a free program because we would rebudget. Health would be better because that's part of biology. And we'd practice at schools. So that means less children get sick. Yes, yes, catch on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. It may, it'll make big businesses. Oh, real mad. Real, real, real mad. The, the <laughs> Can you imagine? Not that many people will be sick. No, we don't need that many doctors in this world. We need innovators. We need people that are going to cure, create cures, create solutions. I need to change that battery. <laughs> but that's what it's going to, you got to look at the bigger picture. You can't think small. You got to look at the huge picture and try to fill in the gap and find out what the real reasons are that our economy is failing. It's because of greed. What's wrong, girl? You okay? Aww. She got scared. Aww. But, yeah, it's not It's not about greed and consum consumption or anything like that. You okay? You okay, girl? Aww. Come here, girl. You okay. You okay. You okay. I don't know what happened. She got scared. I think she heard the noise. It's okay, girl. It's okay. So, our system would create a new American society. A place that foster, fosters personal growth. So that everybody can be happy. And personal growth... It, there's no limit. There's no limit to personal growth at all. And I don't. And, and 
this system isn't meant to to um, hush away, you know, all that stuff. It's not. It's to help people become confident and empowered and mem be members of, of a huge community at the bigger picture. That's it. I mean, whether people will trust it or not, or people whether people believe me or not, that's up to them. And our perceptions can be negative or positive, and that's just a reflection of who we are and our thinking and what we've been through in life. So that's why I can respect either way, all sides. All right, so peace and love. We got to get our kids together. We got to invest in our kids. All right.